Cool. Okay. We about to get into it. So you said you played Steve. He's my highest GSP, but like I uh, usually play Cloud. Okay, okay, right, right. But it's also been like six months since I've touched Ultimate. I see, yeah. Fair enough. Um, so as a casual observer, what do you think about the differences, not between games, but between the like, skill level of the sets that you've watched so far? <laughs> you just put him in that combo and he can't get out. Yeah, okay, yep. Like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's weird to watch, because like, after playing it, I'd, like, I've played a little bit. Yeah. It's just weird, because you can move so much faster than like I feel like should. Like I play it, I do a move, and mm -hmm. I'm, that's it. Yep. Yeah, fair enough. Because um, basically what's happening in games where it's like me versus someone of like Zake's skill level, for example, right? Mm -hmm. um, essentially what's ha sort of happening is that there's a lot of gaps where you're actually actionable, but if you're not aware of that gap, then basically I'm moving two or three times as fast as the other guy. Right, because what ends up happening is sort of like they have to be ready to defend in all those little gaps that I'm taking advantage of, and if they don't even see them, then I get to do two or three times as many things as they do. Yeah. Right. So that's sort of what happens in this kind of game, because um, you know, uh, like I'm sure you'd be familiar with the fact that there's no, um, like there's very little buffering in this game. There's only certain windows that let you buffer things. And, and like only buffer certain things. Oh shit! Nice combo. Um, yeah, because like what ends up ha happening is like there's all those gaps, right? It's like if you are doing something even, even like a little bit before, a little bit after, you're gonna get hurt even more. Yeah. So definitely not like and yeah, not like ulti at all, where it's like, oh, I'm getting owned. I'll just try and like get out of it yeah. using my buttons, right? All, all I know is use C stick, play Minecraft, Steve. Yeah, yeah. Because um, that's the like, basically that's what happens when like, yeah, like, I'm playing someone like Zeg. Is like, there's all these like little moments where I get to like be moving. And if they're not aware of the fact that I'm able to be moving, then they lose something because of that. And that's sort of what separates like people in terms of skill in this game. Um, oh, nice. So like, it's very like um, it's very interactive when both people sort of realize what's going on. But um, otherwise, it ends up being this thing where it's like. It doesn't feel like it should be a knowledge gap, but it actually is. Yeah. Like, it actually is a really big knowledge gap yeah. in terms of, like, oh, yeah. Because they know more than me, they get to do more than me as well. Whereas you still can, like, get some stuff out in, like, Ultimate, I feel. Like, you can press your panic buttons and then, like, oh, they left a little gap in their attacks, then, like, yeah. sick, an up tilt will come out, right? Something like that, in this game, you have to mash, right? Like, you can... If you want to like do stuff in the little gaps, right? You have to be mashing stuff, and it's one thing I actually don't very, like like that much about this game. It's also sort of why like digital controllers are a bit like not busted, but like a bit better for this one specific thing, okay. where it's like you know you don't have to be so concerned about you know moving the stick and smashing it to like dash in a little gap where you're actionable, where whereas like on a digital controller you can kind of just like just yeah. like mat like. Flick, flick the button down, and it's like that's multiple inputs on like opposite frames and stuff. So it's like, oh yeah, you can get out of stuff way easier. It's almost like having a buffer, but you're just actually better at mashing than the other person. Okay. Have you watched much Marth and Falcon in Ultimate? Uh, like in terms of a matchup where they fight each other? No, not really. Okay. Because like the basics of this one base is uh, pretty much you know because Marth has a big sword, you just want to keep the you just want to keep the Falcon out as much as you can. But if you whiff, then he can move forward, right? So like I was saying before about like the knowledge gap and the little like moments where you're actionable. As long as Zeke realizes when, or like as long as Zeke's like experienced enough 
in, uh, yeah, moving in those gaps, then he's able to, like, get some more things going. But, you know, see, for example, like that, like, the net hit, right? But, like, you saw there was a moment where he was in the air, but he wasn't actually in hit stun. Yeah. Stuff like that, right? Like, Zay could have done a fair to, like, stop something uh, continuing. Like, here, you see he air dodges down, like, little p bits and pieces kind of, like, let the other person get ahead. And so it's up to, like, the person kind of on the receiving end of stuff to, like, you know, not let them just, like, do what they want, right? You have to be, like, putting up stop signs yeah. however you can. It's a million little things you got to... Yeah, you just have to, like, yeah. It's just, like, the stop signs, right? You got to be, like, no, 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 yes, yes, yes. You know, like, there's some stuff where you have to be, like, oh, well, like, you did get me there, so I can't actually do anything. It's better for me not to do anything. I don't want to DI wrong, like, for example, because, like, in this game it's perpendicular angles. Um, like, do you know much about the difference between DI? No. Okay, so, like, I'm pretty sure in Ultimate, right, like, let's say you get up smash, right? If you hold down, you don't go as high up, yeah. right, in Ultimate, right? In this game, that is the same as doing no DI. If you got sent directly upwards and you press down, that is the same as doing no DI. Damn. Because it is how you influence your direction is by transferring the knockback to a perpendicular angle and you can influence it by up to like 18 degrees I think like Damn. 18 degrees of however much Ah, oh, sick yellow's here yeah 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 <laughs> yeah Me meeting of the minds <laughs> Meeting of the minds. <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah, so like, what was I saying? Um, DI. So, yeah, you DI stuff in this game by like, um, for example, if you get sent straight up, you have to hold hard left or hard right. Yeah. And when you hold in that perfectly perpendicular angle, um, you influence the direction of your knockback yeah. by up to like 18 degrees, I think it is. Um, so, you know, you, you get sent up and you hold left or right, you don't die off the top as early because you're moving to the side, more, yeah. for example. Yeah. So you kind of, like survival DI in this game is like, I'm aiming for the corners, right? Like I'm trying to influence my direction so that I like transfer as much of the knockback as far as it can go, right? And um, the opposite is true for combo DI. So like when people are hitting you with like soft hits over and over and over again, you wanna you do wanna hold out, right? Like if someone's like attacking you with a move that sends you like perfectly horizontal, like left or right, if you hold hard left or right, that's the same as not doing no DI for like um or like you'll kill you'll get you killed faster, right? Um if you get hit by like a horizontal move and you hold left or right. Um but if they're getting hit by like soft hits over and over horizontally you do want to hold out because if you hold in, you should that keep. Yeah, you're just gonna keep getting attacked more and more and more. Okay. So it's like there's a lot of moments in this game where it's like both people are trying to like mix up whether they're gonna do like a soft hit to keep them close or a hard hit to send them like far away to like kill them, right? And you kind of like judge that based on the percent, obviously, like you do with all Smash games, right? Yeah. Um. So you'll see like. If Captain Falcon's getting a bunch of up airs right, it's because the other person's like not holding out, basically. Whereas if someone dies to a Falcon knee at like 60%, it's because they were holding out, right? Instead of holding like that perpendicular angle. Okay. Oh, alright, well that's a juge. That's three. Damn. That's three in there. Yeah, Yippee. I don't know if they're still playing. I feel like I feel like Connor should have owned by now.